Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Plus, playing as those Desert Rangers. Right now, we must do our first focus with Desert Origins. The Desert Rangers can trace their origins back to pre-war military personnel from one branch or another. Their celebration of this heritage has always been a central part of their identity. As you can see, I've already set up things, especially with our army here. Actually, let's go ahead and train them because we can. And demand tribute from who? The Jackals. I don't think so, Jackals. Not today. Definitely, definitely not today. In the Caps update, we've all, I've already played 3.0 quite a bit. And... Oh, the Ragstag and Cattle Shop. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. This happens every single campaign. Actually, how much money do we have? We have a thousand. Um, our people are doing well. Desert Origins. Well, <clears throat> very descriptive amount of origins of the Rangers. Let's see, do we have the Army Corps of Engineers? National Guard. Well, I really like that one. Army Ranger Battalions. That's not bad. I like that one. I like that construction speed, and we're probably going to need that for where we're headed. So, I've already played the Desert Rangers twice. This is the only nation I've probably have done twice already on this channel. However, this is probably the last time I'll play them before they get another update, but the Prism. The Prism was the original base of operations for the Desert Rangers, and when found, contained a vast number of criminal scum. The Rangers needed manpower dearly, but on the same note, many did not feel accepting criminals into the ranks would benefit them in the long run. Oh boy. But like I said, I've already played this twice. I played with the Steel Rangers way back in the day. I think it was the first one I did with the Desert Rangers. I've also played as uh, the Desert Rangers trying to form the Nevada Pact. So... It is what it is, you know. The people's inhabitants, not bad. Except the criminals. Ooh. Except petty criminals. Exile the criminals. Well, well, I'll be honest. Since I've already done, like, Snake Vargas route before, and I've done the Thrasher Square, I this is the campaign where we will go down the Hell's Razor path and going down basically with the NCR. So, I don't think the NCR would use criminals' conscripts, so we're going to exile them. Keepers or peacekeepers of Nevada. The people of Nevada are forever in debt to the Rangers and often shower them in what supplies they can spare. Catching on to this early on, the Rangers were faced with a simple moral dilemma. Do you help those who can reward you the most or help those who can't afford to reward you? It depends on your welfare policy, probably, I would say. Regardless, we are currently getting 1.24 political power. We're led by Snake Vargas for now. And we have the Desert Rangers, we get more 10% more attack, which is nice, and 5% more defense. Less attrition and more organization and peacekeepers of the Mojave. So protect the weak, protect everyone. We get less manpower, more materials. Protect the wealthy. Ooh, now normally I really want to protect the weak. <clears throat> Just because uh, that's pretty good. I like the extra manpower. Oh, yeah, it's not, it's not that much more manpower. And resource wise, how are we doing? How are we doing resource wise? We're actually doing fairly okay. Uh, we would like some more scrap metal, so let's, let's protect the wealthy. We've got to protect those oligarchs, and let's go to the vipers first because they're easier to take out. The vipers are snakes in the worst sense of the word. They lied, cheated, and betrayed to get where they are in this world. We would be wise to view them as a serious threat going forward, and wiser still to not underestimate their ability to backstab us. Now, my goal, as I tried to say earlier, was to expand a little more. We're going to ally the NCR, and. Ooh, Fallout 1 intro. Um, let's go and disable that stuff. And it looks like my cat is walking into my room, right, Pink? And do we have a trade node? Hey, look at that, we do. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, but regardless, like, I want to, we're going to take out the Vipers, obviously. We're going to take out the Jackals. <clears throat> the followers of the Apocalypse can come here if you'd like to read it. Go right ahead. I mean, this happens every single campaign, so. My goal is to get Carson City, pretty much get all Nevada under us. I would really, really, really like to get Vault City, though. <clears throat> and then maybe even New Reno, just because. Technically, they're part of Nevada. And their trade nodes. So I want all of Nevada under us and join the NCR. And of course, get our cores on Yuma. And was it Gila, I think? I think it's Gila, I think, if I remember correctly. But regardless. I just stop saying that word, regardless, so much. Hmm. After the Vipas. Well, we need the Jackals. The Jackal Gang is particularly a vile group of raider scum who gained the namesake from their tendency to prey on weak, near defenseless communities. They've long been our enemies for as long as we can remember, and it's long past time that we put these dogs down. Alright, so it looks like our guys are done. I believe it is time for us to go ahead and go to war with these folks and have a good old time. It's not... It's not really a good campaign start if you don't go to war immediately, right? Let's see what we can do. Up oh, and help them out too. Actually, you know what? You just go there too. Can you actually help out as well? Oh, you can. Oh, look at that. Attack right in the center. They are entrenched, which does suck. But hey, whatever. Oh, we don't even get one political power a day. Wow, that sucks. 
Uh, Blue Rose Society. I still have yet to play as Linus at the time of this recording. That's all right. Keep moving in. Keep moving in. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Help them out. Help them out. And they broke. And go in. Help them out if you can. If not, I will send half you guys here. And you guys go all up there. Ooh, we're going to need to deal with that resistance, aren't we? Keep them there. And we're doing glad. Uh, we have some other research, industry planning, combat language, Ohm's Law. That stuff always gets done pretty quickly. Oh, we don't have to settle air attack. I didn't realize that. Hmm. Well, since we're going with the NCR, I think it's probably best we go with conventional warfare. It, it just makes the most sense, at least in my mind, that we'll go down that way. So, warrior training. Let's see. Industry. Well, is there anything else here? Yes. Let's grab some decryption. And let's grab some others as well. Very nice. And I'm trying to build some more civilian factories right now, too. So, that'd be kind of nice. Alright, get our guys in there. Uh... You guys keep up the attack for now. You know what? You can help support the attack, too. There you go. Oh, they wanted it to leave, huh? Oh, well, you actually might be able to win. Actually, I'm going to send you as well. Go up there. It'll be done soon enough. Hey, at least he's learning to become a health fighter. Oh, they actually threw someone in there, huh? I don't care where it happens. Just take him out. That's all that matters. There we go. Now that's nice. Give us a little bit more time. Uh, let's see. You guys can help out the attack. You guys can actually help out the attack right there. Heck, you just go right there and see if you can get encircled yourself. It's only two divisions down there, but that's all right. You know what? You keep them in place. You do that and just go for Mount Jefferson and the Viper's Nest. And that should be enough to take them out. Oh, look at that. You want to run away? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. It's not so much that we have to kill them. We gotta make sure that they don't live. Uh, Jackal. I'm looking for anything from. Oh, that's actually not bad. Ross Nakam. Nakam. I do like this one. Angela Death. Let's see. Tactical historian. That's not terrible. I want more political power because we will need to core a lot more stuff here. Fuel boy. Chop shop. War support. I do need to tell you what mods we're using, but I'll share that with you in just a little bit. Less defense, more attack. Well, I guess we have to choose this then. Conventional warfare. That sucks. Now we can't get any more political power. Oh, big sadness. Alright, keep these guys in place if you can. Not bad, not bad. Let them wear themselves out. And we're getting some good army XP too, so. What conscription level? Oh, we're on service. And wow, that sucks. That's actually really bad. Maybe we should have got more manpower early on. <laughs> oh, 305, that's fine. Even if we get in circle, that's okay. There you go. Hey, we can upgrade the trade node. Might as well. Money's important. Also, I left this on historical. To just let you all know, this is on historical. Just because I want to make sure that I can actually party with the NCR. Even though where we're headed, it's probably not going to be a real big party. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, let's grab this one first, actually. Construction basics. Thank you. And there they go. Thank you, Vipers. Ah, time for another focus, my friends. Uh, mm, I would prefer drawing Venom, but the Vipers Venom. The people within the territory formerly controlled by the Vipers live in fear of the Venom, which used to be put into the water water sources of local communities. We're seeing them to rely on overpriced Viper supplies. Now that the Vipers are gone, we've made an effort to decontaminate these water sources, which have earned us a love of the locals. Not bad. And we'll do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Actually, probably should get a field marshal then. Gary Asheville. Is that like Asheville, North Carolina? Oh, he's skilled! Oh, yes! And he's C! Oh, beautiful. Just in time to be us. There we go, my friends. Alright. So, we can probably go ahead and just go to war with them. Oh, and before I forget... That's important. It, it, Caravan Guards isn't bad, but the way some pacification just helps with that stuff. Actually, you know what? Mm, you know what? That uh, If we go with some pacification, it will help us lower the resistance, get more compliance quicker, lower resistance faster. So, and let's grab some more work as needed because we definitely need the output right now. All right, let's go to war. All right, so you guys just kind of walk in 
and see what they do. Go to Gabs, go to Hawthorne if you can. Uh, do we have any spare soldiers? No, that's pretty much all where we had spare soldiers. They established themselves. Alright, whatever. I don't really care. Good for you guys. Up next, I would like to do this because it gives you free civilian factories, more monthly population. I don't really care about the monthly population. It helps out a little bit, but not very much. Well, Troll Warren and Carcass Walkers, not bad. I mean, if they're moving in, it is what it is. It is making it a little easier for me just to take you guys in, but that's okay with me. Ah, uh, Ranger Team Vipera. There are among the Vipers, those among the Vipers, smart enough to surrender, have been rounded up and given the routine re education and rearmament. They will become rangers and pay for the crimes, or they will join their fellows in the grave. Come on, can we get... Oh, we can get the capital. God darn it. Mm. How unfortunate. Well, there's no point wasting your lives then right now. Let these guys come on in. Come on in. Wow, why are they just abandoning the... Okay, well, alright. I want your capital, so give me your capital. Give me your capital. Give me your land. Actually, if you take Bridgeport and the capital, that's pretty much probably all that we really, really need. Keep these guys in place. You guys head up to here. Well, they've put three divisions down here, and they're just kind of sitting there. Okay. I'm okay with that. Come on. We should be able to get it. Should be able to. Oh, we beat someone up there. Nice. I like beating him up. Gives you a nice fuzzy feeling. Hey, we overran somebody. Nice job, guys. Move on into. They don't like getting encircled, but neither do I, so. Ah, uh, Hawthorne. Hey, we got him. Beautiful, my friends. After this one, we shall do Drawing, drawing Venom. Those lands, once controlled by the Vipers, have been purged of their legacy wholesale, and the people within have sworn themselves to the cause of their desert rangers. These communities will help form the backbone of our future, which would be a very good thing, because getting cores is super, super important, even though we're slowly losing a little bit of manpower. Oof, not good. All right, up next. Anything else here? Do Ooh, ah. Ah, we do have the rangers. Nice. Uh, another general... Larry Foster, he's a targeting, targeting computer. Ooh, that hurts XP. I don't like that. It does get, let's see, it's 21% more attack, 21, 23.5. Construction basics, 23.5. Lucky. 23, 26% more attack, it's not bad. But I don't like losing experience. I'll grab some of this too first. Alright, so we could go to war with these guys or the pale folk. You know, I kind of want to take up these folks. How long would it take for us to go to war with these? People. Ooh, that is quite a long time. Unfortunate. There we go. Let's just start doing that immediately. I don't even care. Now, the template we got was Elite Rangers Team, which I wouldn't say that's very elite. That's that. It's not much better than this. So, can I just delete? I can delete them. Can I just convert you guys over? To no. Hmm. Put us over Special Forces Cap, eh? Alright, whatever. Whatever. Alright, so gun-wise, how are we doing? Actually, we're doing okay. Uh, and this is the production that we're currently doing as well. We just need more spec-ups equipment. We need some gliders. Let's go do that. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. We're making some saws. We're drawing venom. Raider conscription would not be bad, but I want to core everything from the jackal side as well. The dog's kennel? Oh, the dog's kennel. Leaders controlled by the jackals have been called the kennel for decades due to the oppressed status of those living within. Small communities of farmers and merchants who have not known freedom in many long years flocked our banners, offering us long hidden caches of equipment and wealth. Cha Ching? Well, let's maybe get some oversight. Sometimes you really gotta get some oversight. Nice. Oh, look, okay, so I feel so much better about manpower right now. But yeah, Carson City would not be bad at core. 17,000 is not bad. And make our way up to here to Tobin Waste, which is okay, but I really want that vault, uh, vault city. Warrior training. Let's grab some crowd control gear because that's always good to do. Always, always, always. And we get three more civilian workshop. That's not bad. We already have eight. Oh, I love it. Oh, and like usual, build everything up here. Oh, capture the Warren. Oh, boy. Well, I did leave this on historical, so... All right, and there's no extra special modifiers, but the mods we're using. Stage Chester tool mod, as you can see at the top. Now you can't see it. We're using a player of peace conferences, Old World Blues, and Old World Blues Radio, and that's it. Only four mods. I'm not using colored events to see if events actually have the color, but Ranger Team Kenneth. 
Those among the jackal gang smart enough to surrender have been rounded up and given the routine re-education and rearmament. They will become rangers and pay for the crimes, or they will join their fellows in an unmarked grave. After that raider conscription, well, that's okay, it's not great. Buy a prowl post, that's really not great either. It's okay. Ah, ranger's good. Actually, how much money do we... Oh, four, well, 427 monies. Restore Crescent and Dunes Depot. You know what, we got the money for it, we're going to do it. I'm getting a scavenging program too. Uh, we could have done invest in a new assistance scare package, but that'd be kind of a waste. We only get 14. I really would like to expand our area though. Let's see, we're building in Ranger Citadel, which is the most important thing to do. Which is nice. Everyone go ahead and train if you need to. And let's, let me go cut down the divisions. Maybe, once we get to 24, maybe. We'll see what happens. I would like to make these divisions bigger. Uh, we have 300 some guns, Rangers. Let's grab some of this. There you go. Conventional warfare is pretty good. Let's grab some battle plans. Thank you very much. Yeah, actually, Vault City is really, really important just because they have really good resources. Lots of stuff unlocked. Or a lot of uh, factories. I love factories. Work is needed, which is nice. And, and grab, grab this. Improvised tools. <clears throat> Do we have any planes yet? Ah, we have two. Not bad. Let's get up to 50. And do that. And then bring dogs to heal. Those lands once controlled by the jackals have been purged of their legacy wholesale, and the people within have sworn themselves to the cause of the desert rangers. The, these communities will help to form the backbone of our future. Which sounds eerily familiar to the one we did with the Vipas territory. Actually, you guys are... Probably both 12 combat with, aren't you? They're exactly the same. Alright. Alright, whatever. I prefer that one, which makes them smaller, actually, but whatever. Alrighty, tidy. Let's see. We're already justifying, which is nice. Crowd control gear is pretty good to get. Support companies, anti-tank. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead for it, because Vault City might have robots, and we don't want to deal with that too much. West End Economy, Welcome up to Army, is always nice to do, and now we're at four. Do we lose factors? I thought we were at eight. Huh. Alright, whatever. Oh, and actually, resource-wise... That's not too bad. We're doing pretty darn well with resources for now. Let's see. 21 days, 3 weeks left for woodworking. Bringing our dogs to heal. Yarrington. Hawthorne becomes Yarrington. More manpower would not be bad. Infrastructure. Ah, let's grab the infrastructure. Why not? The former HQ for the Jackal Gang is a defensible and resource rich location. Many suggested converting it into a central base for operations in that area going into the future. Gabs becomes Canis Outpost, as well as you get 2 infrastructure, 2 outposts. Hopefully, you don't really need the outposts too much. Well, we'll see what happens, of course. All right. Anyone have upgrades? Yes. Gary Asheville. He's part of the C. Savage Leader is what we got to do. So. No power armor in this campaign. And we'll go with Savage Leader next. What do we have right here? Um, uh, more planes. I, I definitely want more planes. But at the same time, crowd control gear is pretty darn important. At least in my mind. Max it out to five. Go up to... Go to three because we don't really need that many scout kits for now, so that'll be fine with me. Guns. How are we doing on guns? Three, three, six. Oh, woodworking, not bad. Let's grab some of this. It's a little bit ahead of time. If I'm going to do anything ahead of time, it'll be for resistors. Uh, I love resistors. What do resistors do? Hmm. Actually, I've never mixed enforcers. They're not special forces. I've never mixed enforcers with my infantry. Actually, I've never used them before. I don't think I'll use them now, but maybe I'll try them out some, sometime later. Because they can get pierced pretty easily, honestly. Like, Enforcers are there pretty much just to help put down enemy resistance. So, oh, look at that manpower now. Oh, so nice. So nice. Anything down here? Medical. That's oh, only 10. We might as well. There's not that much, that many cool things we can grab with uh, our political power for ministers. Free Yarrington? Might as well. Yarrington has been a central location for slavers and violent folk in Nevada for as long as anyone can remember anyone can remember. Filled to the brim with innocent folk who've been wronged in a thousand ways, our liberation of it coincided with a sharp increase in the numbers of volunteers eager to take the fight to the raiders. Now it is time to select another focus, in which we shall do raider conscription. Not all raiders are without redemption. Many know nothing better young, violent, druggies, gang pressed into service. Their crimes can't be washed away, but they can work off the debts they owe to humanity by defending it from those they once called an ally, which we get a whole 5% recruitable population factor. That's okay, but we do have 100 political power, in which we shall choose what? Jackal? Hmm, supply consumption goes way down. I like that. Viper is not bad, especially with the garrison stuff. Ooh. Uh, 
Oh, anti tank grapples are very, very nice. Let's see, anything else? Uh, we already got it. We might as well, I guess so. We might as well use those, right? What else do we want here? Cultural advisors? Yeah, it's not really worth it, though. It's in my mind right now. Fixers? War support, chop shop. You know what? It's worth it. Uh, oh, we don't have a flyboy. I was going to grab a flyboy, because that, that usually can be pretty pretty darn worth it. Let's grab some of this, too. Why not? Um, what do we want? Uh, how about over here? Flyers? Mm, that's for close air support. That doesn't really help gliders, though. So, hmm. Regular shack markets. Ah, uh, ready conscription, and then Viper Outpost. The former HQ for the Vipers is a defensible and resource-rich location. Many suggested converting it into the central base for operations and the area going into the future, which is good, as I'm struggling here with trying to figure out what we should do. Hmm. What if I left this up to you guys? So, uh, we can get Snake Vargas eventually because Hell Razor will become the leader. Who should we choose for the military high command? I'll leave it up to you guys just because I usually choose this, but, uh, you know, I'll give you guys a little bit of a choice in this campaign. Should we choose Angela Death, uh, the Viper, we lose stability, resistance growth, and our state's occupied by the enemy goes up by 25%, less damage to garrisons. Uh, we can't do Hellraiser because he will be the leader eventually. Should we do ooh, Ranger Unification Treaty, which I believe we'll get because we will join the NCR at Jack Hidalgo? Let me know in the comments below which one of these, or which two of these, shall we choose, except for Hell's Razor, of course. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time for me. Let's grab some local workspaces because right now, we're not looking too bad. We put some dynamite or some demo equipment as support equipment on our soldiers. For support companies, we're almost done with our deficit of infantry equipment. And I'll have that, this choice up to you guys. Oh, Fallon, and it's time to go to war. Oh, I love it. I love it. Ah, uh, screw it. Just go with this one. What if we just, like, went in? Can we just go for, straight for Carson City? Oh, I didn't click on that. Just cut him off and go to Fallon. Uh, looks like it's going pretty darn well. I want to go straight for Vault City next, so. I'm a very aggressive uh, ranger here, apparently. Take Carson City, and then we'll probably go all the way up to there, too. Fallon to Capital. But, no longer. Tobin Waste, and we cut all these guys off down here, which is great. I mean, when have we lost? None. Battle plans are nice. Nice, 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 nice. nice. Let's grab some field fortifications. Uh, and more divisions. Ah, Viper Apollos. Palace is detected with no knowledge of pre-war electronics. All we can do is issue an evacuation order and watch helplessly as multiple solar panels overloaded and shorted it out, destroying a huge section of the plant. Thankfully, at least the surge was contained by the drastic decrease in generated energy, but we have no chance to ever repairing such relics. Well, maybe I should have waited. Oh, well. A Ranger General appointment. Many within the desert rangers have questioned the continued service of Snake Vargas, who has led the organization for the better part of two decades. Many of his senior rangers have expressed interest in taking over the duties of the... Ranger General, despite longing for retirement, Vargas, assured that he would be his would-be replacement, seeks to take sides in larger conflicts. We must appoint a new general. Alright, just give it some time, we'll get down there. And have a good old time. Alright, kill these guys off. Not bad. And the Yakuza have fallen. Pretty dawn. Easily. Now we must appoint a general, which well, I think it's time for Snake Vargas to uh, take a little break. Take a little break and let the people party decide. I like that mustache. Or the facial hair, I should really say. So, Hell's Razor. Hell's Razor doesn't particularly care for the NCR, but he's one of the few survivors of a recent and disastrous expedition to Arizona, which left dozens of rangers dead at the hands of the Legion. He understands their status as a threat, and more importantly, I understand that the NCR is the only faction in all of the Wasteland that is capable of stopping them, in which we get, wow, 120 political power. That's pretty darn good. Now, from here, actually, Chief of the Army, so now we actually have him. So he's the current leader, so we, we will grab him, probably. I don't like hurting my defense. It's only 3% defense, though. That's not too bad. 3% uh, more attack's not much. I would like to grab outsider auxiliaries and go outsider battalions, because I think we, we, as the Desert Rangers, <clears throat> eventually NCR Rangers, will be welcoming of people who would come in and want to become part of our nation and fight for <clears throat> the people, we'll say. 30, 30, 40, wow. That's a, that's a big old split. Regardless, which I, like I said earlier, you stop saying. Um, technology is good. Actually, how are our planes doing? Oh, I didn't even use them. Oh, they're actually looking pretty good. Pretty darn good, I'd say. Put them over there and go and duplicate them. Do you have any more? Oh, let's go and trade them. Why not? Because we, do we get any? Oh, 
well, we get barely some XP. Not bad. Not bad. And we got quite a few days left for Vault City, which... Actually, we're halfway done with it. That's already... That's pretty fast. Already halfway done. Not bad. <clears throat> After local workspaces, it is 2276. <sighs> so disappointing we can't grab motorized flight. That sucks. And we're also trying to get some research done for... Uh, Special Forces expansion. That's always good to do. We actually have some vehicles, but I never use vehicles. Can't grab automation, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Let's go and grab some clay working. So after Hell's Razor, we can prepare for the Legion. Wow, 60 days, focus. Defensive line on the outskirts of Shady Sands. Ranger mechanization, which is kind of a waste. Manpower, hands-off leadership. Well, we'll prepare for the Legion. Hell's Razor and his cohort. Remember the dozens of Legion warriors who struggled to deal with their older fortifications and barbed wire? They offer this knowledge to those charged with fortifying the capital of Shady Sands. Just in case <clears throat> they ever need a glorious last stand. Which should be good. We do have some extra divisions to put on there, but that's alright. And zero days left. Very good. So we've just finished preparing for the Legion, which we'll talk about just a little bit to find the special little modifier for it. But let's go hands off leadership. Hellraiser has never been a believer in the notion of drills or training matter once you're out in the field. The only thing that can teach a man to survive is surviving. And the only thing that can teach someone how to kill is, well, <clears throat> killing. So, actually, because I want to look at this. Let's see, tech, there, here are our tech levels. Special forces are maxed out as well as infantry. And those are the only two. Robotics were pretty much really stupid on how robotics works. But we got the Desert Rangers buff. We have preparing for the legions, which gives us plus 15% entrenchment speed as well as max entrenchment, which is really cool. But regardless, we must... That's our word i got to stop using. Stop training and get ready to go to war with the good old folks of Bolt City. Actually... Uh, they do have a few robot divisions, which we're not really prepared for, I think. Uh, yeah, we're not really prepared for them. That's not good. That's alright. We're going to go straight on in anyways. Go to war with these folks. These fine, fine folks. And actually, how strong... Oh, god dang it. And, uh, New Reno already joined the NCR. Uh, I want to take him out, but whatever. If you have focus next, then. Oh, we need more political power for that. That's fine. There we go. A very, very aggressive faction we have here. And actually, instead of trying to get more ministers, I'm probably going to start just trying to core more stuff here. Actually, I did raise this up to outside of battalions already, so that's pretty good. Uh, overall, it's not too bad. They have a lot, probably quite a few divisions around here. And the robots, yeah, well, we're beating them up. And I guess we're beating them up so well that they can't really do much else here. Which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Help them out. Very good. Help them out. <clears throat> Loss of 38 versus 60, not bad, but once we get Vault City, we should be rolling in the dough, hopefully. Uh, you guys good? Would you would you like to do a little a little a little bit of battle? We could force the attack, but I don't think we really need it. Uh, they still they still can't pierce we still can't pierce them. They can pierce us. But that's just because we don't have anti tank yet really in the field. But once we get Vault City, we'll have more than enough military factories to do well with it. Actually, does anyone else have upgrades? No. He's learning. Maybe they're learning. Desert Fox. That's good. That's very, very good. After this, Pale Folk. And then... Hmm. Maybe Slack Ops Tribes. Antelope Tribes. Grab your territory. I would like to get the Sky Reavers as well. Even New Vegas. Ah, Clay Walking though. Very, very good. Resource efficiency game. Well, why not? We don't really need it right now, but we probably will eventually. Losses. They have five to seven divisions left, which is not good for them. That's overwhelming firepower is sometimes necessary. Very good. A little bit of lag. Not bad, my friends. Not bad. Ooh. Naval Air Station Fallon. Oh, we need more caps. Yeah. This is exactly why we're doing it. We're doing this in the name of money. Thank you. And uh, Actually, what is our income like right now? 2.7. That's not great. You know what? We probably don't need to do that then. Fall of Vault City. They can't stand much more. And once we get Gecko, that'll be nice and good. Hands off leadership, and we'll do Ranger Mechanization. It's a long way from the Citadel to the banks of the Colorado River, and if Heck Razor is ever going to hope to support the NCR in the war, he's going to need to be capable of shipping his men to that location fairly quickly. If you'd like to go in and just, you know, beat him up, just beat him up. Just go in and beat him up. That's all I care about. Just beat him up. Well, he's level 4 now. It's not too bad. He's, oh, let's go 5. Not bad, not bad. Please get to Gecko, please. Ah, Vault City is gone. Exactly what we wanted. Hey, a, a jewel and a crown. Look at that. Pretty nice. And we shall end with getting public projects. Because that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's first episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you liked it, 
Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will continue expanding and joining the NCR. Thanks for watching, and have a tremendous rest of your day.